Oh yeah, baby, Arizona World Heavyweight Champion back here again. And I remember a few years ago reviewing this game. Yeah, Gate of Thunder on the Turbo Duel. Now, yeah, my old Star Soldier footage, I think it was kind of grainy. I didn't cover all the bases on this one, so I figured, hey, why not review it again? It gives me an excuse to actually pop this in my system, have a go at it, and see if I get a nice high score and all that junk. Yeah, Gate of Thunder. This one is actually a very cool disc because if you get it, yeah, you actually get Bond's Adventure and Bond's Revenge. Now, two of the greatest gains on the Tokyo 16 for free. And you also get Bomberman 2 if you know a secret code. Yeah, I think it's up right down that button 2. The Turbo Duel is known for the Thunder series, yeah. I think they were able to get a bunch of producers from the Thunder 4 series to make some Turbo CD games. But looking back, is Gate of Thunder really that good? You know, it was a pack-in game for a Turbo Duel. Hey, you get this cool little system with all these games on here, and plus you get that second new game, Gate of Thunder. And you're thinking, what the hell is Gate of Thunder? <laughs> NEC, have you learned anything from the launch of the Turbograph 16 way back in 1989. You know, the Sega Genesis pretty much killed you guys because it got packed in with Alter Beast, a well-known arcade game at the time. So what's a brand new game again, this Turbo Duel to Taisha? A game called Game of Thunder, a original IP. <laughs> yeah, so the big deal about Game of Thunder is that this game is going to utilize the power of the Super CD itself. Yeah, like that. So what makes it better than like the standard Turbo CD is that instead of just one mega power in the Turbo CD system, now you got two mega power. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't honestly know what it does. Maybe it speeds up the loan times or maybe the backgrounds are going to look a little bit more fancier. I don't know, but <laughs> let's see what two mega power can do on this Super CD here and what Gate of Thunder is considered a classic. Once we go through the sim mats, which are honestly not that impressive looking, ugh. We are then greeted to an awesome opening with huge guitar riffs in the background. Yeah, this is gonna rock. And fortunately in the gameplay itself, yeah, you get that killer music in the background too. Is a music very cool but damn look at these graphics tons of parallax drawing lots of detail in the enemies you got nice fast-paced action going on very intense Gate of Thunder made an excellent impression the first stage is so cool because you're pretty much doing a huge counterattack against the enemy. Everything is flying from all possible directions. You've got this huge battleship ready to crush you at a moment's notice, just like in the third stage of R Type. Ah, oh, damn, is that awesome. And then you move on to stages two, three, and four, where it's pretty much the same thing. You're just dodging a whole bunch of mechanical ships, some cargo bays. got some steel girders you got a whole bunch of metallic enemies and it definitely gets a little bit repetitive after a while all right so the graphics and music are awesome in this game but how is the gameplay eh, it's all right <laughs> I 
honestly, it's nothing that I haven't seen in a ton of air shooters before. Yeah, you get the nice straightforward shot that can be powered up to a thunder beam. You get a whole bunch of wave lasers, which is good for range. And then you get the napalm weapon, which is good for clearing out shit from the top and the bottom. And yeah, that's the problem with Gate of Thunder here. It doesn't really bring anything new to the table. I like that you can shoot behind you by pressing a button twice, but that's something that you really have to get used to. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if this was like sidearms or something, where you just press buttons 1 and 2 to switch from left and right? But no, not in Game Thunder here. No, you gotta press that button twice. <laughs> uh, I hate that. But it could have been done a lot worse, and you do get used to it. You got some great controls in here. You can switch weapons on the fly. As long as you collect them all, you can adjust your speed. It's just a well-made game that unfortunately just doesn't bring a lot new to the table. Yeah, another problem with Gate of Thunder here is that you only have seven levels to deal with. Now, they're pretty long levels, you know, and they're fairly challenging too, but Man, for a Super CD game and one of the packing games for this new system, I expected something that lasted a little bit longer than an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong, the game is still very challenging, especially stages 6 and 7. This one's tough. Very claustrophobic, you have to time your shots just right to survive. But <laughs> if you're proficient enough at shoot ups, you're gonna beat this game no problem. And yeah, you're gonna see that lackluster and then you can bump it up in difficulty and all that, but you still get the same sort of deal. Yeah. The debate rages which is better, Lords of Thunder or Gates of Thunder, but in my opinion, I love the ability to collect you know different gems and go on the shots and all that. Gate of Thunder isn't bad either though. I just wish there was more variety in the weapon types. So you have lasers, weight beams, and you know, side cannons. I've seen all that shit before. That's the whole story here at Gate of Thunder. You know, it's amazing in some spots and not so amazing in others. But still, I highly recommend it. Hey, this game is really pretty much a no-brainer. Yeah, you get three other awesome Turbo Gravity 16 games in here, plus the awesome Super CD experience of the game itself. Yeah, Game of Thunder really rocks. In more ways than one. So Lords of Thunder is a little bit better in my opinion, but hey, some people might prefer Gate of Thunder instead. <laughs> it's all up to you. I also like too that you can actually save your high scores on here. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's an awesome thing about this one. I wish more Tour Guys 16 shooters would actually save the high scores, you know? <laughs> and look at you, Magical Jason Blazing Lasers. Ah! Yeah, so this game won't raid on your parade, it'll bring down the thunder for sure, because it's so freaking cool. Alright, and that's it for me. This is Arizona, World Heavyweight Champion, over and out.